Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your spirit messages for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So we're going to see what spirit wants to tell you at the, this time. Most important messages for you. So please only take the messages that resonate for you. They may not all be for you or resonate for you. So please do keep that in mind. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. So if you'd like to uh, book a private reading, you can find that information down below in the description box. So what I'm going to do here, Sagittarius, is pull three oracles from each deck, and then we'll clarify those energies with the tarot. So I hope everybody's staying um, safe and healthy. Hope you're all doing well at this time. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius. And you can check the description box below. Lots of information down there. Your playlists are down there. If this doesn't resonate for you, you could check your playlist, uh, Love in General, down there, and you'll find the spirit messages under the general playlist. And maybe something from the past will resonate. I consider them all timeless, so just disregard the dates on them. And uh, social media links down below, the decks I'm using, you know, lots of stuff, so feel free to check that out. So let's get three. And if you do, thank you. Three messages, most important messages for Sagittarius. Well, there we go. I'm going to pull uh, all three first. So we have the fairies, the mermaids, the unicorns. So we kind of have like a uh, mythical kind of thing going on here. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective. What does spirit want to tell you at this time, Sagittarius, please? Thank you so much. Show me what I need to see for Sagittarius. The most important messages for Sagittarius at this time. What do they need to know? It's one, two, three. Okay, let's get some unicorns. If you're new, you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do subscribe, you get at least four readings a month, and they're all different. So there's um, a little bit of everything for everybody. All right, and I may stop doing the bonus readings for all the signs and just the most viewed uh, readings. Signs with the most views. I'll take this one. Okay. And if you do subscribe, uh, thank you and welcome to the family. Get your energy in here so we can spread the messages, spread the love. All right. What do we have for Sagittarius at this time? We have new opportunity. This has been coming out a lot for all the signs. There's some sort of new opportunity coming your way. And when we get into the tarot, we'll see what that is. Could be work, career, finance, relationship. Could be anything. Some sort of new opportunity. And we have miracle healing. So some sort of massive healing here. Wow. So that could be anything. Massive, massive healing, miracle healing. So that's good energy. And we have here breaking free. So some of you are breaking free in some way, shape, or form from something that's no longer serving you, no longer fulfilling for you, spreading your wings and taking flight, I feel. Let's see what the mermaids have to say. Explore your options. It's time to take, it's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. So whatever that means for you, I mean, again, new opportunity and new option here. So <laughs> it could be anything. Like I said, it could be, you know, moving. It could be a career change, new relationship. It could be anything, anything at all. Only you know what that is. It's a general collective reading. So again, if you want a private reading, you can uh, check the description box below for that information. We have make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So wish upon a star, wish and dreams coming true, manifestation, visual, visualization, um, hoping for something new, breaking free, new opportunity, miracle, massive healing, and then wishing for something new. Wow. What's going on here, Saggy? We have Divine Magic. This has been coming out a lot, too, for all the signs. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles and miracle healing. Wow. I think the universe is really working in your favor here, so you just need to trust, trust in that energy. We have change. The changes that you're going through are positive. Wow. So new opportunity, new options, change, breaking free, divine magic, divine healing. Miracle healing. Wow. 
we have some repeating messages here, Sag, so that means there's something uh, major going on with you here. You'll know in the morning when you wake up, you'll have a better idea about what to do. Relax until then. So some of you just may need a little more time to make a decision or see the path clearly or you know exactly what to do. Maybe you just need to sleep on it. Maybe from whenever you're watching this, you know, wait till the next day or the next morning. If you're watching it in the morning, I don't wait, wait till the next day. Uh, or when you wake up in the morning and you have a clear, you feel like you have a really clear vision idea um, and you know exactly what to do. You could even have a dream and it's like an awakening for you and you know exactly what you need to do in some way, shape or form. That makes sense. And we have true. Yes, what you're asking about is the truth. So <laughs> whatever question that is for you that you've had on your mind lately about a person, a place, a situation, an, a new opportunity, um, a wish, an option, here, a change, the answer is true. So whatever that means for you. So let's see here. Let's clarify these energies for you, Sagittarius. Clarify these energies for you, Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female. Let's clarify these energies. Some of these are, I feel, combining all together, especially, I feel, well, most of them, actually. <laughs> it's like one big message. So, you know, maybe you've done some massive, uh, massive healing here, and you feel like it's a miracle that you were able to heal from something, and now you're breaking free, moving on. Well, let's see. So what is new opportunity about the Sagittarius? So we have the Empress and the Ace of Swords. So the Emperor or Empress doesn't matter here. I'm not going over any signs. It's just messages. So either you resonate with the messages or you don't. But we do have the Empress here or the Emperor. Somebody who stands in their value, their worth, uh, their morals, their integrity. Um, and the Ace of Swords. So this is having total mental clarity. This is like my divine intervention, my divine clarity card from the source. It's a, a positive new beginning. And that's new opportunity. So this is like having a clear vision, a total mental clarity on a new opportunity in some way, shape, or form. And it could be being, um, you know, a manager, a CEO, um, or something, a high-ranking boss, or something like that that you've always wanted to be, or something like that. Because this is the Ace of Swords, which is success, victory, clarity, um, divinely guided, brand new beginning, cunning way energy is no longer serving you open, honest communication, and divine clarity here. So being that emperor empress that you've always wanted to be, and you may have this new opportunity coming in for you. And it's being divinely guided and gifted to you from the universe. Wow, that's nice. Okay. So what is this miracle healing about? Well, we got three. Wow. So we got the tower. We got the nine of... Wow. Oh, Sag, what happened here? So we have the ten of swords. This is a major, major uh, ending. Painful, hurtful ending of some kind, tower, some sort of change, shift, um, explosion, breakdown, breakup, something came crumbling down here, which left you a little uh, defensive on guard, you know, feeling like, it, you know, a wounded warrior, it's been a struggle, a battle, a fight, but this is also about perseverance and not giving up and still having that fight left within you and moving on. It's like this knight here, you know, is fighting right through the tower and an ending that came crumbling down, just fighting right through it, just getting right through it. And it took some miracle healing to get through that, Sag. Wow. So whatever you've been through here, I feel like not giving up, fighting your way through it, and having miracle healing here for you. So however you did that, <laughs> if you have done that, uh, I don't know, I feel like I need one more. So how do we heal this? What if this ending was for you? I mean, it could have been anything. Whatever the however it applies for you. So justice here. So it could have been something in the legal field, legalities of some way, shape, or form. It could have been a divorce, something, uh, you know, a battle in the court system. But this is uh, things balancing out, truth and clarity, uh, getting justice, serving justice, 
in some way, shape, or form. So getting your justice here, getting what is deserved to you, getting what is rightfully yours, things, um, you know, being evenly dispersed or something like that here, which I feel like left you in a better energy and able to, you know, everything was fair and balanced, so it left you in that energy of even though you fought through this whole situation and everything ended up in a fair, balanced way, now really healing from that and moving on, fighting right through it. Wow, good for you, Sag. So, wow. I just want to show you this. So, so yeah, this is you walking away from that energy here, walking away from it's no longer serving you here. We do have the Ten of Cups here, which talks, talks about total uh, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. It could be on your own with another person, in relationships, some way, shape, or form. But here's a new opportunity, again, another ace, new opportunities, divinely guided blessing. Um, it could be work, career, finance, or just a solid offer of some kind, which will lead to success, abundance, and victory here. So I feel like, you know, walking away to your own abundance, happiness, and joy, and fulfillment, and fighting through that justice here, and coming out the victor, and having new opportunities uh, blessed to you, presented to you in some way, shape, or form, from the universe will, will lead to growth, abundance, stability for the long term. Wow. All right. So, okay. So what is this breaking free? I feel it definitely could be from this energy over here. Now we're breaking free from that. Able, you know, miracle healing. Maybe you felt like it was a miracle. Things came out uh, balanced, fair and balanced the way they did. All right, so what is this breaking free? What is Sagittarius breaking free from? And if you're going through something now and you're not sure how it's going to go, I think all will be fine in the long run, but it's telling you here not to give up, to keep fighting on, persevering on, even though you feel like you're just so beat up, you just can't do it, that you're down for the count, especially with the Ten of Swords there, feeling like, you know, I just, you know, had every knife stabbed in me and I just can't, can't anymore. So what is this breaking free so we have judgment here, so this is making a final decision, judgment call, but it's also about forgiveness and healing. Um, it could be a resurrection of a situation, but doesn't have to be. It could also be just about forgiveness and healing and making a final decision here to break free and move on, but yet in a fair, just, balanced way in some way, shape, or form. So making a final decision here, or you need to about moving exactly, and here we are breaking free and moving on. Here's the Eight of Cups again walking away from something no longer serving you and search for your other two cups to make the Ten of Cups, which we saw, which is your total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So I feel like you're making conscious decision here to break free and walk away from a situation that's no longer fulfilling for you, whatever that is for you. Or Spirit is telling you it's time to do that. Yeah. Because here we have the Five of Swords. It's like, do I give up? Is this a losing battle? Do I keep fighting on? Uh, it's a lost cause. You know, kind of one-upping one another. Uh, this is not a good energy. It's kind of like that constant nagging back and forth and one-upping and stabbing, you know, in the back when the other's not looking kind of energy. So walking away from that. We're walking away from that and breaking free, making that decision. Or Spirit says, you know, maybe it's time to make that decision to do what's best for you. So what is explore your options? Ten, ten of Cups again. I can't make this up. <laughs> it's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to, to make, make changes in whatever other possibilities, options are, or changes you make here are going to lead you to your Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. We do see two people here. Could be someone else, something else. Here, which will lead you to luck, success, you know, fortune in some way, shape, or form, abundance, happiness with the rainbow and the Ten of Cups. What else? Let's get one more on that for Sagittarius. So, what kind of Ten of Cups, kind of option or change or possibility is this for Sagittarius? Please, Spirit, what do they need to know? So, you're conflicted, Five of Wands. So, Spirit is saying you're conflicted or you have. Um, you're conflicted or you have conflict around you or um, inner conflict, outer conflict here about a Ten of Cups situation. But it's saying uh, here to explore that option, 
um, look at another possibility and time to make a change in some way, shape, or form that you're feeling conflicted about, but it will lead you to probably more happiness, joy, success that you had in this past energy I'm feeling. All right, so what does this make a wish? This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So what does Sag need to wish for? What are we wishing for? Sagittarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. One more. So we have the Magician and the Six of Pentacles. So the Magician here uh, manifesting something, a new beginning of some way, shape, or form. Um, whatever that is for you. But whatever it is here it will lead you to a lot more balance to where you were before. I mean, this could be a new career, a new relationship, moving to a new location or something. Some sort of new beginning here. You do have the infinity symbol here. So somehow, some way, some energy here has been attached to you, maybe from past lives or just re repeating from the past, but it's now time to manifest in a new way, in a new direction, in a way that's more balanced for you. So, you know, pentacles are about work, career, finance. Magician can be anything. So this could be, you know, wishing for a new job, uh, a promotion or something like that. So let's see if we can get one more. So what is this about? Manifesting something that's more balanced for Sagittarius. Six of Swords. So it's about moving in a new direction. And leaving all past uh, BS behind, rocky waters behind, going to more peaceful, harmonious, balanced place. So we've got balance twice with two sixes here. Sixes are about healing and balance. You just want more balanced energy in your life, I feel, in all ways. And you want a more peaceful, calmful, healing kind of energy. You're tired of the rocky waters. It's like, I just want calm waters in my life, I feel. I think that's your wish. <laughs> and we have manifestation here. I just noticed on this card, and what does a magician do? He manifests a, a new beginning for himself in some way, shape, or form. So. so we have divine magic. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. So we do have the Nine of Swords. So this is stress, fear, worry, anxiety um, kind of energy. Maybe not sleeping at night, feeling bound by something, which leaves you in kind of a stressful state, nervous. So what is this about? Divine magic. Queen of Swords. So this is like my, again, the Ace, the King, Queen of Swords always reminds me of divine intervention, divine clarity, um, clarity from source. Queen of Swords is king or queen, doesn't matter. It's that energy of, again, with the sword, cutting out things no longer serving you, having total clarity, um, open, honest, truthful communication, saying it like it is, not backing down, standing up for yourself. Sometimes it's queen, you know, the king or queen, but the queen energy, and it's just energy, usually is someone who's been through a lot. Uh, sometimes they're divorced or widowed, or they've been through a lot of struggles and challenges in their life. So whether you're male or female, I feel like definitely with all this energy here, you've been through that. Which maybe, you know, it's been a lot of stressful times for you. But whatever your situation is here, you can expect miracles. So whatever you've been through, all the struggles you've been through, and I do, I felt that here. Um, what's the divine magic and miracle coming in for Sagittarius? For Sagittarius, please. So we've got the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Nines to me are always like an independent energy. Uh, but the King of Cups is someone who's, you know, I think here, Cups are about, you know, feelings, emotions, and love and that kind of energy. But it can be King or Queen. But the King energy is usually someone who's very mature. They know how they feel. Um, they have a cup here, you know, to share. But sometimes they don't always verbalize too often or too clearly. But we do have the nine here, which is happiness, joy, and wish fulfillment in every single way. And we did have the wish over here. This nine of cups sometimes can be an overindulgence. So I think Spirit wants you to know if you are. All these cups here are overindulging. Be a little careful of that. But you see we got the nine, and then he's holding the tenth cup here. And we have the ten of cups here. So you do have a ten of cups waiting for you, some way, shape, or form. And it's a miracle, and, you know, something divinely guided, working behind the scenes for you. You may not see it, may not be sure, but it's there. 
King of Cups. So this could be about love, or this could be just being in a more calmful, peaceful energy, a loving, compassionate energy. And as with that um, miracle healing up there. Finally getting into that peaceful energy after all the all this uh, energy up here. So what has changed? The changes that you're going through are positive. I feel a lot of massive shifts, changes, uh, like in all forms. And I've, I think I had that before uh, in one of your readings. Massive changes like in all areas of your life. A few months back maybe. So change. So we have the fool. So this is resetting yourself back to zero, taking a leap of faith, starting over, starting new, starting fresh, and trusting in the universe, and just taking that leap of faith and taking a new start and some sort of change here. So what is this change? Oh, that's way too many. So now we have the Page of Cups. So this is about communication. It could be apologies. Um, it could be extending out a love offer to somebody, which is change here, or it could be just an apology, or just being in a way of communicating uh, in a more, again, loving, compassionate energy. This could also speak of children. Um, sometimes, you know, they say this indicate can indicate pregnancy with the fish in the cup, but if that resonates for you. But if this is a positive change, some of you finding out you may be having a child, um, it does say a positive change here, so I think it's going to be a good thing. You may be a little stressed out about that. So that may be just a separate message for some. Again, may not be for everybody, but some, if you're thinking about taking a risk or a leap of faith and love in some way, shape, or form and extending that out. So we do have the King of Cups here. Uh, could be a good change here, positive change. So let's see. Let's get one more. What is that about with the Fool? Now we have the Queen of Cups. So now we have a matching couple, the King and Queen of Cups. So this could be a soulmate energy. Doesn't matter the signs. Uh, it's just a matching couple. So uh, definitely uh, soulmates here. So it could be making a change and sending out an offer, taking a leap of faith to somebody here that you feel could be a soulmate. All right. So let's see here. Let's see here. What is this you'll know in the morning when you wake up, you'll have a better idea about what to do. Relax until then. So we do have the three of cups and we do have the chariot. So the chariot is about positive movement forward. It's about being balanced. It's about going after what you want. Um, a lot of driving ambition, passion, being successful. It's, you know, it's about movement travel. It can be about traveling also. It's about three of cups, about celebrating, reuniting, you know, coming together with like-minded people. It's, you know, community, social energy. Also, I know we're on lockdown right now, but... So this could be about reuniting and traveling to see somebody. Um, it could be friends, family. It could be, a, you know, a lover. It could be anybody here. So I think you're going to get up in the morning and say, you know what, I'm going to go see this person, reunite, come together, have a good time in some way, shape, or form. And maybe have some relaxing times with this person. Maybe you're not sure for some reason to take action towards somebody here to have like a reunite uh, reunion or come together or something like that. But I feel like here, um, you're just going to get up one day and go, you know what, I'm just going to go see this person and I think you'll have some good times. Again, it could be anybody, friends, family, kind of energy. So, all right, so let's see. True, yes, what you're asking about is the truth. So what is... Sagittarius asking about to be true. What does Sagittarius need to know, Spirit, about whatever they have on their mind? Is it true or not true? What is that about, Spirit? Please, thank you so much for Sagittarius. So we have the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Rods, which is the uh, Queen of Wands. So male or female doesn't matter. So this could be your energy, since Rods is a fire, or a fellow fire sign. But this is about taking uh, forward movement and love in some way, shape, or form. So this is you, you know, it could be just, you know, moving forward. But this is about asking something that you have on your mind. So whatever ha you have on your mind and you're not sure, is it true, is it not true, I feel like here, because if you put it this way, this is like you 
moving forward in love or should I or shouldn't I uh, kind of energy. Or will this person move towards me in love or is, is there love here between you and another person or whatever here? And the answer is true, but let's get a few more because that's kind of... So what is this about Sagittarius? What is this about for Sagittarius? The Emperor. So someone taking control here. Taking the lead, taking control. Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. Do we have the Empress right here? So we have a divine couple here. The masculine and the feminine. And Or this is you just standing in your power. That Empress, Emperor energy. You know, being in control, the leader. Um, taking control of your life. Knowing your value, your worth. Um, having integrity, morals, and value. Or are you taking the lead, taking control of a situation, and moving forward in love to somebody or a fellow fire sign or something like that? So the answer is true here. So however that means for you. Wow. We have, <laughs> we have the uh, Twin Flame card at the bottom of the deck. So if you're wondering, because um, you're not really seeing here with the moon energy, here if this person is your twin flame or soulmate here or something like that. You're like, I'm not sure. I'm disillusioned. I can't see clearly. I, I just don't know. I don't even know what this twin flame stuff is. I'm all confused. Is it true? And the universe is like, yes. <laughs> Take control, lead, charge now. Move forward to this person, king or queen of wands here. So it could be a fellow fire sign or just you moving towards somebody that could be a very stable uh, soulmate twin flame here. Wow. But I feel like you're very conf confused and not seeing the path clearly. Or, you know, it could be just moving forward uh, with, again, you know, love, compassion, a more positive energy of healing and taking control of your life and being in your fire, fire element of having that drive, passion, ambition, and moving forward. Even though you can't see the path clearly, I can't see the path clearly, but know that a very stable energy is here for you in your home life and there could be celebrating ceremonies of some kind also so however that resonates for you but whatever you're thinking of in regards to that spirit says it's true wow what do we have next okay all right sagittarius well best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light